Hey guys, welcome. Today we're going to be going over a very cool, very obscure, pretty car. This is a 63 Buick Riviera. My name is Mackenzie. Come along as we get into the details. We're going to walk around. We'll show you the top, the bottom, under the hood, and of course, take you for a ride. Come on along. So we're gonna start it right up front on this rib. The four headlights we see is a one year only thing. This is the most iconic year for this car. It has a lot of one year options um, and it's pretty breathtaking. You don't see these too often. It is very, very hot. And this one's been dressed up to give it a little bit more sex appeal and a little bit more aggressive look. Um, I'll pop the hood for you and I'm gonna show you something, something pretty damn cool too. Whew. This here, you might notice, looks a little bit different from uh, your regular V8. Buick didn't make these for a whole long while, and that's made them very desirable, not only for Rivieras, but for all sorts of hot rods, too. This is called a nail head. You will notice these valve covers are running totally vertical and don't taper off like a normal V, like you might think. And that is what it gets its name from, the nail head. And it's just a really cool, different look. And that's why so many people want these for their hot rods. Not only because they make good power and are, uh, not only because they make good power, but because they're very different and pretty sexy. This one is factory option with the air conditioning. We've got power brakes, power steering, and a whole lot more. This one too is painted in its factory colors and it looks slick. If you notice too on the sides of these valve covers, we have some embossed Buick lettering, which looks very good. I'll close this up for you here. Tight like a glove. Um, I'll take you around the side of this car. You see, we got a Pretty hot little stance. We're on a brand new set of US mag wheels with some brand new Continental tires. The lines on this thing are crazy. All the trim on this is crazy. And you might be able to tell it's a really, really hot piece. It has all been recently restored. All the chrome's been sent out. All the stainless was uh, sent to get polished. The paint is fresh and brand new. Even this interior is totally redone. Um, you keep coming along. She's got big old hips, a lot of nice curves. I love the way the roof and these rear quarters meet. And then you see in the back there, those US mag wheels are sporting a whole lot of dish, giving this thing a very, very mean stance. And we take a few steps back and you will see another very unique Buick thing, again, Nothing like it, it's just for this one year. Anywhere you look at this car, I think it's very, very sexy. It's got good lines. I like the way they did the bumpers. It's just the right amount of everything. And carrying to the passenger, it is flat, very straight, nice, even coat of paint. And then again, the dish on those fat wheels looks very, very good. You note the door gaps. Uh, the attention to detail is fully there. At the back of this thing here, we got a brand new seal all the way around this trunk and a very, very nicely detailed finish in this trunk. Uh, we got the original mat, and then you notice blocking out these hinges, all these closeout panels done in uh, this really, really nice carpet. That is that extra attention to detail. It's a lot of time and effort goes into a subtle touch like this that you don't get to see at the shows or all that often, but it shows the level of care that is there when this thing was coming together. Pull 
rolling on out here. Got our power steering doing his thing. Guys, uh, I believe it's another one year only thing. This one actually has a two speed automatic transmission. Um, so the gears are very long. You never notice when it shifts. And just another cool, unique thing. And I don't think I mentioned it earlier. This car only has 98,000 original miles. The engine, transmission, rear end is all original to the car. So we've got the original, you know, numbers matching drivetrain, which is always sweet. This interior is original as well and it's incredibly incredibly preserved um joey and i were talking about this interior before we even did the video we get the privilege of looking at a lot of cool cars every day and i have never done or been in a 63 rev this thing's kick ass we have a lot of cool options all over the place the finish behind um or sorry on the uh like the dash inlay there that kind of metally uh retro futuristic look they nailed it it looks sweet and then everything in here is just orientated towards the passengers so got a little ashtray here our lights and wiper controls instead of fishing around over here it's plain and simple um we got a little glove compartment there and for our rear passengers another cigarette lighter and uh another little ashtray mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, one more tidbit, let me know if this works or not, Joey. This thing does not have any windshield wipers on it right now. I do have them, but it is a testament uh, that the previous owner really cared for this thing. He said no windshield wipers because I'm never going to drive it in the rain. Uh, this is a really, really nice car top to bottom, and he spent a lot of time, money, and effort getting it there. So I thought that was a cool touch, and these things do look pretty cool. But the wipers do work, they're just not on here. It's for fun. Um, speedometer goes to 140. We got a fuel gauge, um, oil pressure, coolant temp, and an amp meter down low. One thing too I noticed as well, and this being my first time in one of these, um, obviously old cars, you let them warm up. This thing has a light that tells you that it's cold and it shuts off once the car is been running for a, a couple of minutes, which is pretty cool. Impressions of the drive here. Good power, smooth running motor. You, you can't really feel it. There's no rough vibrations. Um, these seats are very comfortable. Steering wheel isn't too big, isn't too small. I got a, a lot of good room here. I like it. it takes bumps really well. Um, one thing I will note, you know, we, we take these things up and down the road for a few minutes out of probably all the cars we've done, and we've done some pretty obscure things, pretty badass things. This has probably gotten the most thumbs up, looks, whatever it be, uh, about all the cars we've driven, which is cool and definitely says something. You do not see these cars too often, um, especially with this kind of flavor. I personally think it's tasteful, it's just the right amount of hot, and we still have all the things we love about the originality of these cars. Ooh. All right. I'm gonna kick, kick this pedal down here and, and see what this uh, little nail has got. Comes out pretty good. I uh, never been behind the wheel of a nail head. I don't know how much power they make. It sounds good. It looks very cool. I like it. All right, guys, thank you for checking out this video today. Feel free to browse around and check out all our other cars. We got plenty here at the LaFontaine Classics YouTube. And one more thing before we go. Thank you for watching. Feel free to like and subscribe. If you want to know anything more about this car, dial up this number, hit us on one of our socials. That number is 248-714-2110. And uh, two guys, I'll put the link to the listing in the description of this video. 
You click on that, it'll show you all the detailed pictures, the whole write-up, everything right on our website. So thanks again. My name is Mackenzie, and we look forward to seeing you soon. Bye-bye.